And we're back. Here is a third part of our Master Pages lesson, and that is numbering pages. This video is going to go with the notes under numbering pages, and the PDF is labeled basic numbering pages. Okay. So it says, when you're working with longer documents, adding page numbers before you print or export the publication is a good idea. You don't have to add them manually. A special InDesign tool lets you number pages automatically. This tool is particularly useful when you move pages around the document. You don't have to keep track of updating the numbering when you make these kind of edits. So. To do a basic page numbering, we're going to follow these steps. And we're going to use the same file that we've been using, this one that we've designed ourselves. OK, so we want to go back to the Pages panel. And we want to double click on A Master, OK, and get our Master Pages in frame. Remember, you can always come down here to the bottom to remind yourself what page you're on okay you can see I just moved my mouse so I'm off of the page that I want to be on I want to be on a master and that's what it says a master down there okay zoom out a bit now we're going to take our type tool which I already have and I'm going to come down here to the corner and make a new text box and I'm going to now, instead of filling in anything from my keyboard, I'm going to go up to Type and go down to Insert Special Character, then over to Markers, and then to Current Page Number. Okay, Type, Insert Special Character, Markers, and current page number and I'm gonna click that as soon as I click that you'll see an A appear in the text box that you drew down on the corner okay that's going to represent what your number is what it looks like and where it is okay so let's do a little bit of formatting here I'm going to select that and go up and choose a font I'm gonna do I don't know something simple there we go I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I can change the color here if I want but because it's going to be on blue and yellow I think I'm gonna leave go ahead and leave it black now I also want to make sure that I am aligning it correctly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the left side with my margin okay so now i know that my letter is left aligned and the text box is text box is aligned with my margin so it'll always be in a nice spot well what i do to the left side i must always do to the right side so i'm going to just copy and paste what i've done over there and now place over here okay now, remember that we're doing a saddle stitched book. The center line is our fold line. So when you're opening your menu, a magazine, a booklet, the page numbers should be to the outer edge, which is why we're doing a left side and a right side, okay? I do wanna change the formatting of this right side. I'm going to choose a right alignment and have the right side of my text box align with the right side of the margin, okay? So now they're perfectly spaced equally on each page. All right, now that you have that set up, double click on your page one in your pages panel, and you'll see that you have on pages that you have a master page assigned to, you have page numbers two, three, four, five, six, seven, no pages on eight. Okay. If I would have added the master back 
to 1 and 8, you'll see that now there's the 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So the numbers are attached to the master, which is good. Now, when we're dealing with a project that has a cover, you don't want a page number on your cover, okay? So let me show you how to delete that because if you just try and grab it, you can't. I know Fletch. Fletch is hungry or wants to go outside or something. All right, so you can't grab those, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go back to page one. I'm going to use my selection tool, which I already have. I'm going to hold down Command and Shift and click on my text box that I want to delete. Now by holding Command and Shift and clicking on the text box, I've released it or overridden it from the master page. It's no longer part of my master page and now I can delete. Okay, but you see that page two still stays, page two, page three. I also don't want a page number on the back page, so I will command shift and click on the text box and delete. Okay. Everything else is still attached to the master page. Now, I am including an additional video that I've made at a previous date. Um, it is called Advanced Page Numbering. And it's not really advanced, it's just a different technique that I'm not, I'm going, I want you to go over. Because what if you wanted um, the page three to be page one. What if you wanted it to say page one? Okay, the next video is going to teach you how to do that. So please go through that video also. Okay, you can do the same, you can use the same um, file, even though the file that you'll be looking at is different, it's still kind of set up the same way. Okay, so I would delete all of your numbers or undo back to the numbers to do the next video. Okay. Any questions, email me.